a 13A resolution of the Ogallala Sioux Tribal Council. So, uh, Councilwoman Whitehorse. Thank you. Um, the first resolution is a resolution. Sorry, wrong page. Resolution of the Oglala Sioux Tribal Council of the Oglala Sioux Tribe approving the legal services agreement between Homer Law Chartered and the Oglala Sioux Gaming Commission. Whereas the Oglala Sioux Tribe has adopted its constitution and bylaws by referendum vote on December 14th, 1935, in accordance with section 16 of the Indian Reorganization Act and under Article 3 of the Constitution, the Oglala Sioux Tribal Council is the governing body of the Oglala Sioux Tribe. And whereas the Tribal Council has the power to protect and promote the health and general welfare of the Oglala Sioux Tribe and its membership, pursuant to Article 4, Section 1W of the Tribal Constitution. And whereas the Tribal Council has the power to manage the economic affairs of the tribe and to regulate the conduct of trade and the use and disposition of property on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation pursuant to Article 4, Sections 1F and 1M of the Tribal Constitution. And whereas on November 25th, 2014, the Oglala Sioux Council enacted Ordinance Number 14-41, amending the Tribal Gaming Regulatory Ordinance of the Oglala Sioux Tribe, which authorizes the Oglala Sioux Tribal Gaming Commission to promulgate regulations and guidelines as deemed appropriate to implement the gaming ordinance, subject to affirmation by the Tribal Council, affirmation of the Tribal Council by duly adopted resolutions. And whereas on July 2nd, 2015, the Gaming Commission first entered into a legal service contract with Homer Law Chartered, pursuant to Section 2.1 of the then effective OSTGRA regulations, which authorizes the commission to contract for legal counsel and pay his fees and expenses under such terms as the commission desires. And whereas the gaming commission desires to renew its legal services agreement with Homer law chartered for calendar year 2021. And whereas the tribal council has council desires to approve the legal services agreement between the gaming commission and Homer law chartered for calendar year 2021. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Oglala Sioux tribal council hereby ratifies and approves the legal services contract between the Oglala Sioux Tribal Gaming Commission and Homer Law Chartered for the calendar year 2021. Motion to approve and the chart the contract is attached. So we got a motion by Chairwoman Whitehorse and a second by Councilwoman Little Hawk Weston and Councilman Dubray. Any questions, comments, or concerns, Council? Any online? Seeing none, Madam Secretary, can you run the vote, please? Wesley Hawkins, Sr. Oh. Blaine Little Thunder. Oh. Cora Whitehorse. Yes. Ryan Jumping Eagle, Sr. Gerald Conario, Jr. Yes. Austin Watkins, Sr. Tyler Yellowboy? Yes. Wendell Youngman Jr. Ron Debray? No. Oh. James Cross? Yes. Ella John Carlo? Yes. George Dreamer Jr. Yes. Julianne Spotted Bear? Yes. Richard Ironcloud? Yes. Ron, <coughs> sorry, um, David Puyer? Yeah. Sonia Lohawk Weston? Oh. Jackie Sears? Uh -huh. Michael Carlos Sr.? Yes. Bernardo, Bernardo Rodriguez Jr.? Yes. Craig Dillon? Yes. Seventeen yes, three not voting. That passes. Thank you. <clears throat> Resolution of the Oglala Sioux Tribal Council approving an appropriation of three hundred thousand dollars for the con continued operation of the COVID nineteen public health checkpoints established by Ordinance Number Twenty Thirty Two. 
Whereas the Oglala Sioux Tribe adopted its constitution and bylaws by referendum vote on December 14, 1935, in accordance with Section 16 of the Indian Reorganization Act of 1934, codified at 25 USC subsection 5123 and under Article 3 of the Constitution. The Oglala Sioux Tribal Council is the governing body of the Oglala Sioux Tribe. And whereas under Article 4, of the tribal constitution, the tribal council has the power to enact ordinances governing the conduct of persons and providing for maintenance of law and order on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation and promoting the health and general welfare of the tribe and its members. And whereas in response to the COVID-19 public health emergency, the tribal council enacted ordinances, ordinance number 20-28, April 1, 2020 to adopt the COVID adopt a COVID-19 Pine Ridge Reservation Border Monitoring Health Order and Coordinated bo Border Monitoring Plan. And whereas the Tribal Council later enacted Ordinance Number 20-32 to adopt the Oglala Sioux Tribe COVID-19 Public Health Checkpoint Ordinance, which superseded and replaced Ordinance Number 20-28, and which remains in effect. Whereas on April 15th, 2021, the Finance Committee of the Tribal Council approved a motion to appropriate $300,000 from the Rama funds of the Oglala Sioux Tribe Department of Public Safety for the continued operation of the Oglala Sioux Tribe COVID-19 public health checkpoints established by ordinance number 20-32. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Oglala Sioux Tribal Council does hereby appropriate $300,000 from the Rama funds of the Oglala Sioux Tribe Department of Public Safety for the continued operation of the Oglala Sioux Tribe COVID-19 public health checkpoints established by ordinance number 20-32. And be it further resolved that to the extent permitted by law, the tribe will seek to recover these funds from the payment the tribe will receive from the United States Department of the, of the Treasury from the coronavirus state and local fiscal recovery fund under the American Rescue Plan Act, provided that the tribe will, uh, will do so if and only if it is determined at a later date that the payment from the coronavirus state and local fiscal recovery fund can be used for this purpose, consistent with the requirements of the American Rescue Plan Act and guidance to be issued by the Treasury Department. Motion to approve. A motion by Chairwoman Whitehorse, a second by Councilman DeBray. Any questions, comments, or concerns? Seeing or hearing none, Madam Secretary, can you run that vote, please? Wesley Hawkins, Sr. Yes. Blaine Little Thunder. Oh. Cora Whitehorse. Yes. Ryan Jumping Eagle, Sr. Gerald Canario Jr. Yes. Austin Watkins Sr. Oh. Tyler Yellowboy. Yes. Wendell Youngman Jr. Yes. Ron DeBray. Oh. James Cross. Yes. Ella John Carlos. Yes. George Dreamer Jr. Yes. Julianne Spotted Bear. Yes. Richard Ironcloud. David Puyer. Yes. Sonia Lohawk Weston. Ah. Jackie Sears. Uh huh. Michael Carlos Sr. Yes. Bernardo Rodriguez Jr. Yes. Craig Dillon. Nope. Council that passes 17 yes, one no, two not voting. Thank you, Chairwoman. Moving, moving on to uh, agenda item 14, the two thirds items. I believe first on the list that came up was HHS. Yeah. <laughs> Either co chairs or vice chairs. Okay, 
<laughs> I don't know if Ryan's on, but if not, then uh, ordinance of the Oglala Tribal Council. Wait now. Start over. Ordinance of the Oglala Sioux Tribe requesting that all federal agencies adhere to the historic historical and legal relationship between the United States government and the Oglala Sioux Tribe relative to housing issues on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. Whereas the Oglala Sioux Tribe adopted its constitution and bylaws by referendum vote on December 10th, 1935, in accordance with Section 16 of the Indian Reorganization Act of 1934, 25 USC Section 476. And under Article 1 and Article 3 of the Oglala Sioux Tribe's constitution, the Oglala Sioux Tribal Council is the governing body of the Oglala Sioux Tribe. And whereas the Oglala Sioux Tribal Council is empowered under the Oglala Sioux Tribal Constitution, Article 4, Section 1W, to adopt laws protecting and promoting the wealth, the health and general welfare of the Oglala Sioux Tribe and its membership. And whereas Article 10, Section 2 of the Oglala Sioux Tribe Constitution provides guidance that prohibits both selling and mortgaging un unallotted lands and all lands that may be acquired by the Oglala Sioux Tribe or by the United States in trust for the Oglala Sioux Tribe and instead require such lands as to be held as tribal lands. And whereas homes built on tribal lands will not be classified in the mortgage market development category. <clears throat> and whereas under the Oglala Sioux Tribal Constitution, Article 10, Section 3, the Oglala Sioux Tribe is the authorizing lease land for the purpose of allow, allowing tribal members to build homes and establishment establish home sites and whereas tribal members who build homes under the provisions of article 10 section 3 of the Oglala Sioux tribes constitution will not have the opportunity to utilize home equity line of credit for any home repair or home upgrade costs and whereas this places the Oglala Sioux tribe <clears throat> Places the, places the Ogosu tribe in an under, undertended role of being the landlord conservator by providing the only means available to the tribal members to provide financial assistance for the home repairs, home upgrades and utilities and the energy costs relief to ensure that the tribal members' homes remain habitable. And whereas due to the inability of the homeowners to utilize the home equity line of credit, the Ogala Sioux Tribe has assumed the unintentional role of conservatorship through the financial assistance for the home repairs, utilities, and energy costs relief to ensure that the tribal members' homes built on the leased tribal lands will remain habitable <clears throat> Whereas the Biden administration through the United States Department of Treasury allotted funds for distributions to the tribes or the tribes TDHEs OSLH assisted with certain home repairs and mortgages er arrears and, ut <laughs> and utilities among other things through short term federal homeowners assistance funds as part of the administration's American Home American Rescue Plan of 2021. And whereas the Department of Interior through its agency and the Bureau of Indian Affairs developed an Indian Affairs Mortgage Handbook 52 IAM 4-H on J July 15th, 2019, that has not yet impacted the land's use policies for the Ogala Sioux Tribe. And whereas the Ogala Sioux Tribe will face enormous policy challenge with the introduction of tribal mortgage market de development plan. <clears throat> and whereas such time as the Ogala Sioux Tribe government authorizes a mortgage marketing development plan, the efforts to continue assisting tribal members' households with home repairs and upgrades will continue without any resources available to the tribe with the exception of a short-term home owner assistance funds. Now therefore be it ordained that the Oglala Sioux Tribe hereby request that the federal agencies adhere to the historical and legal relationships 
including treaty obligations with the Ogallala Sioux Tribe relative to housing on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation and to acknowledge the sovereign government governing authority of the Ogallala Sioux Tribe to categorize tribal homes that are eligible for federally funded assistance. Motion. We got a motion and a second. Yes, Councilman Puyer. Is, is this just for tra uh, housing homes? <clears throat> so this was uh, drafted by Lisa, <clears throat> and um, I don't believe it's just for housing homes. Because that 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 last therefore be it ordained says tribal homes that are eligible. So to me, those are only HUD only HUD homes then. Right, it's right on the therefore be it ordained that last one. At last, whereas. Councilwoman. In the in the fourth whereas, it says homes built on tribal lands will not be classified in the mortgage market development category. So it's supposed to include all homes, not just HUD homes. In the be it further ordained, it says tribal homes. So it, it all all homes. If it, it's got to be one or the other, I guess, put it that way. So maybe if you just take out tribal, to categorize homes that are eligible for federally funded assistance. So with that amendment, we'll take out that, that part. So we just took out the tribal, we just left, took out the tribal homes and just left well, it with See, homes. that's my question. Is it for all homes or we is just, it just for tribal? No. It's all homes. Oh, so we just take that. Oh, yeah. just, 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 just take, just take that part up. Yeah. So we have a motion by uh, Vice Chair Yellow Boy and a second by Vice Chairwoman Spotted Bear. And with the taking out tribal homes in the therefore be ordained, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Any other questions, comments, or concerns? Thank you for that clarification, Councilman Puyer. Yes. Yes, Councilman. Yeah, Madam Vice Chair, I think I got a question to this. So, uh, well, it's kind of a confusion. So, I don't know. Maybe you should send it back, and then uh, maybe whoever attorney uh, work with, maybe we do this. Uh, ordinance. If this is the ordinance, you know, I think uh, we need to look at it and. Maybe I'll make a motion to table and then uh, send it back and have them redo this. So we have a motion to table. Is there a second? Second by Councilman Carlo to run that table, guys. So, Secretary, can you run that table motion, please? Wesley Hawkins, Sr. Yes. Blaine Little Thunder? Oh. Cora Whitehorse? No. Brian Jumping Eagle Sr. Gerald Canario Jr. No. Austin Watkins Sr. No. Tyler Yellowboy? No. Wendell Youngman Jr. No. Veron Debray? Oh. James Cross? Yes. Ella John Carlo? Yes. George Dreamer Jr. No. Julianne Spotted Bear? No. Richard Ironcloud? No. David Puyer? Yes. 
Sonia Lohawk Weston. Ha. Jackie Sears. Oh. Uh -huh. Michael Carlos Senior. Yes. Bernardo Rodriguez Jr. No. Craig Dillon. Council, it's a tie, nine yes, nine no, two not voting. Do you feel like you can clarify? Or? Well, there is, that's what she was going to verify for us. There. So there is a deadline to this, and it's the 29th of this month. So this has to, I mean, this was, okay. so there is a timeline to this. So, so I, I'll vote to, um, I'm gonna vote no to to the table motion so that we can clarify, especially if there's a deadline. <laughs> Councilwoman, did you want to clarify? I, I was just gonna say that the deadline is the 29th, and I think that you know just taking out the tribal and that last, um, therefore be it ordained, would should make it clear enough so that it is just. Um, it's all homes, not just tribally, tribally owned homes. And adding all homes would not even be a problem. Were there, were there any other questions that weren't clear besides clarifying all homes? It was a 9-9 vote, so I just wanted to see if anybody had any other questions. Yes, Councilman Puya. Just, I mean, just so we understand, I guess, and whoever, because in that first whereas on that second page, it also says short, short term federal homeowners assistance. So does that mean those that are only buying or does, it, or does that mean rental units too? Um, no, the, the rental units are under a whole different program, that ERAP program. So this is just for homeowners who are either actually own a home or they're purchasing a home and have a mortgage. And so it doesn't matter if it's, if it's a mobile home or even um, somebody built their own house, you know, or a HUD home. Yes. <laughs> Good questions, Council. Any other questions or comments or clarifications? Yes, Councilwoman. Can, we just needed to know that. So, just in case our constituents call us and ask us, you passed this, does this, you know, can this be, are we eligible? So, we just need to make sure we understood it so we could uh, let them know. Okay, thank you. Yep, all homes. Uh, yes, okay, Councilman? Uh, yes, I know uh, the motion that I um, brought up, but uh, you know, I think we need further clarification just like what been stated here, so thank you. Councilman, did that clarify your questions for cl further ca clarification though? Yes. Excellent, okay, just wanna make sure. Any other clarifications, comments, or questions, Council? Um, I, yes, go for it. I guess I just wanted to share a little information on this. This is the funding request. They're trying to um, bypass the market study, or what's the name of it? The market, the market um, mortgage market development plan to submit their funding request. And then if, if the funding request is approved by the treasury, then the money will come here and then the information will get out to the people. Thank you for that clarification. Yes, Vice Chair. Also just to add to that, this strengthens our fight when we're asking for more funding. 
Um, there's not a, we have the constitution, but this is just a reminder that there is an obligation to our tribe um, that we do uh, work government to government. So it fully supports when we're asking for additional funding. Thank you for the clarification. Any other questions, comments, concerns? Good. <laughs> Councilman Puyo is trying to fall asleep, so Madam Secretary, can you run that vote, please? Wesley Hawkins, Sr. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Blaine Little Thunder. Oh. Cora Whitehorse. Yes. Ryan Jumping Eagle, Sr. Ryan? Ryan? Gerald Canario, Jr.? Yes. Austin Watkins, Sr.? Tyler Yellowboy? Yep. Wendell Youngman, Jr.? Yes. Ron DeBray? Oh. James Cross? Yes. Ella John Carlo? Yes. George Dreamer Jr. Yes. Julianne Spotted Bear. Yes. Richard Ironcloud. Yes. David Puyer. Yes. Sonia Aloha Weston. Ha. Huh. Jackie Sears. Oh uh ha. -huh. Michael Carlos Sr. Yes. Bernardo Rodriguez Jr. Yes. Craig Dillon. Council that passes 18 yes to not voting. Vice Chairwoman. Thank you, Chair. The the next ordinance, can I ask the secretary to read that? Ordinance of Logola Sioux Tribal Council of Logola Sioux Tribe enacting a tribal landlord trend, <clears throat> a tenant code that includes provisions to allow Sioux, Oglala Sioux Lakota housing to initiate evictions, proceedings, and rental and home ownership units based <clears throat> on drug activity and or violent criminal activity during and after the CDC's moratorium on eviction based on non-payment of rent. Whereas the Ogola Sioux Tribe adopted its constitution and bylaws by referendum vote on December 14, 1935, in accordance with sex, Section 16 of the Indian Reorganization Act of 1934-25 USC, subsection 5123, and under <clears throat> Article 3 of the Constitution, the Ogola Sioux Tribal Council is the governing body of the Ogola Sioux Tribe. <clears throat> and whereas pursuant to the constitution and bylaws, of the Oglala Sioux Tribe, the Oglala Sioux Tribal Council exercise legislative powers to enact and promulgate resolutions and ordinances. And whereas Article 4, Section 1W of the Constitution empowers the Tribal Council to adopt laws protecting and <clears throat> promoting the health and general welfare of the Oglala Sioux Tribe and its membership. And whereas the Oglala Sioux Tribe has not <clears throat> yet adopted a landlord tenant code and its law, law and order code at Chapter 46, Oglala Sioux Tribal Leasehold Mortgage Code only provides for tenant eviction for unlawful entry and detainer. And whereas the proposed <clears throat> Landlord Tenant Code was passed by the HHS Committee during the Bear Runner Poor Bear Administration and was sent to the Law and Order Committee, but no further action was taken by Law and Order Committee during the last administration. And whereas the HHS committee at a special meeting held on March 11, 2021, approved a landlord tenant code to be forwarded directly to council. And whereas <clears throat> there have been instances in which household members and their guests residing in housing units with elderly and vulnerable tenants engage in, during, in drug activity and violent criminal activity, the elderly tenant is not aware of or cannot control. And whereas the Oglala Sioux Tribe 
tribal council at the at a regular session held on March 30th, 2021 passed resolution 21-76 authorizing expedi expedited eviction of tenants from Oglala Sioux tribal, Oglala Sioux Lakota housing units for engaging in drug and criminal activity while upholding the moratorium on evictions for non-payment of rent during the COVID pandemic. And whereas the OSLH adopted administration <clears throat> and occupancy policy number X, C OSLH board resolution 014-007, establishing a termination of occupancy procedure for breaches involving serious criminal activity, which includes drug activity and violent crimes committed in OSLH rental units. And whereas the Oglala Sioux tribe has a vested interest in protecting all tribal members, including elderly, mentally challenged and disabled tenants who may be for, forced to endure dirt, drug activity and or violent criminal activity by household members and their guests, but feel powerless to stop it. Therefore, subjecting the community district and the tribe as a whole to escalating crime rates. And whereas the Oglala Sioux Tribal Council views the situation created by drug activity and commission of violent crimes in OSLH housing units as a crisis worthy of immediate and decisive actions to stop this activity. And whereas the Oglala Sioux Tribe does not have a landlord tenant code at the present time to provide expedited process for OSLH tenants and tribal housing located on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation for evictions to address lease compliance and landlord conduct. And whereas the tribal council determined it is in the best interest of the tribe and its tribal members to enact a, <clears throat> enact a detailed landlord tenant code in order to pro provide landlords and tenants with clear processes for in enforcement or <clears throat> lease obligations of landlords and tenants and residential housing units on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. Mm -hmm. Now, therefore, we are during the Oglala Sioux Tribal Council hereby adopts this landlord tenant code effective 30 days after the adoption of this ordinance and be it further ordained that the tribal secretary is authorized and directed to publicly post this ordinance to ensure the pub public is informed of this new code and be it further ordained that this ordinance shall be shall not affect <coughs> applicability of the march 28 2021 cdc order under section 361 of the Public Health Service Act, 42 U.S.C. 264, and 42 C.F.R. subsection 20.2, which extended the moratorium and eviction based solely on, on non-payment of rent from April 1st, 2021 through June 30th, 2021, which shall remain in effect until the order is either rescinded or expires, notwithstanding with an act enactment of this ordinance certification motion we got a motion by vice chair spotted bear and a second by councilman knoyer any yes councilman Watkins. question so uh what's on right. it's okay now done so um for hhs so you, you adopt this ordinance stuff i understand what you're saying there thing but uh what you gonna do with the elderly after you kick them out because of the young guys causing the incident? According to this, they are the eviction, huh? Councilman Knoyer, do you have a response to that? Yes, it was my understanding whenever we were reading this and whenever the thought processes um, went into all this is that it's not the elderly or the person whose home that they, is, is theirs. If it was my house and my son or my grandchild is doing something illegal, threatening, harassing me, whenever the eviction comes down, they're going to be barred by my house by housing officials, but I will still remain. Good. That's all I want to hear. Thank you for that clarification. Yes, Councilwoman Whitehorse. 
um, I, I guess I have a question for the HHS vice chairs. Um, it, it's been brought to my attention that on a previous expedited eviction, um, housing was taken to court and lost because of the expedited process. So how will this affect that? Has that been looked into? Um, will this change that process in any way or? This, this ordinance allows for, the, for it to be expedited. In the past, it has not. I'm not aware of the court hearing that was regarding the ho um, housing. And I'm not sure if my co-vice chair is aware of it either. Uh, but this allows for the removal to be expedited. And then they also work with law enforcement. Just on those two specific things, right? Drug activity or violent criminal activity? Correct, because there are elders um, out there who are being intimidated uh, because of their actions. Okay, I just wanted that clarified. Thank you. Thank you for those questions. Any other questions or comments? So we have a motion and a second. Yes. Madam Secretary, can you call that vote, please? Wesley Hawkins, Sr. Oh, yeah. Blaine Little Thunder. Oh. Or Whitehorse. Yes. Ryan Jumpy Eagle, Sr. Yes. Gerald Canario, Jr. Oh, yes. Austin Watkins, Sr. Oh. Tyler Yellowboy. Yep. Wendell Youngman, Jr. Yes. Ron DeBray. Oh. James Cross. Yes. Ella John Carlo. Yes. George Dreamer Jr. Yes. Julianne Spotted Bear. Yes. Richard Ironcloud. Yes. David Puyer. Yes. Yeah. Sonia Lohog Weston. Jackie Sears. Uh huh. Michael Carlo Sr. Yes. Bernardo yeah. Rodriguez Jr. Yes. Craig Dillon. Yes. Council that passes 20, yes. No, no. <laughs> Any, that's HHS two thirds. <laughs> Getting long, guys. <laughs> no, no. Um, any, that's HHS is two thirds, is that correct? Thank you. Yes, thank you. Moving on to thank land, uh, Chairman Carlo. Thank you, Madam Vice Chair. <clears throat> the Land Committee hell-bent for leather in our daily protection and preservation of our land and natural resources proudly comes with the following resolution. <laughs> resolution of the Ogala Sioux Tribe Council of the Ogala Sioux Tribe requesting a transfer of all excess equipment and for roundups excess equipment for roundups to the Oglala Lakota Game Fish and Parks Commission, a public law, PL 96-93-638 funded program, whereas the Oglala Sioux Tribe adopted its constitution and bylaws by referendum vote on December 14th, 1935, in accordance with Section 16 of the Indian Reorganization Act of 1934, and under Article 3 of the Oglala Sioux Tribal Constitution, the Oglala Sioux Tribal Council is the governing body of the Oglala Sioux Tribe. Whereas under Article 4, Section 1M of the Tribal Constitution, the Tribal Council has the authority to protect and preserve the property, wildlife, natural resources, gases, oils, and other minerals, etc., of the tribe and Whereas the Oglala Sioux Tribe operates the Oglala Lakota Game, Fish, and Parks Commission, which is funded by Public Law 93-638 contract. Whereas the Bureau of Indian Affairs, BIA, previously conducted roundups of livestock and horses, but no longer provides this service to the tribe. And whereas the Oglala Sioux Tribe desires to perform the roundups and requires use of the excess BIA equipment. Now, therefore, be it resolved, the Oglala Sioux Tribal Council 
hereby request the transfer of the excess BI equipment previously used in round including but not limited to all terrain vehicles, ATVs, portable panels and trailers, etc. <clears throat> Be it further resolved that the Oglala Sioux Tribe Council request the excess property be transferred from BIA to the Oglala Lakota Game Fish and Parks Commission, a program funded through Public Law 93-638 contract. Be it finally resolved that the tribal president or in his absence, the tribal vice president may take any and such action in furtherance of this resolution motion Motion by Chairman Carlos, second by Councilman Dreamer. Uh, Councilman Hawkins, was that a second as well? Second as well, okay. Like, do you like that one, Greg? Any questions <laughs> or comments, Council? <laughs> none online. Seeing none, Madam Secretary, can you run that vote, please? Wesley Hawkins, Sr. Uh -huh. Boy in Little Thunder? Oh. Cora Whitehorse? Yes. Ryan Jumping Eagle Sr. Ryan? Gerald Canario Jr. Yes. Austin Watkins Sr. Oh. Tyler Yellowboy? Yep. Mundo Youngman Jr. Yes. Ron Debray? Oh. James Cross? Yes. Ella John Carlo? Yes. George Dreamer Jr. Yes. Julianne Spotted Bear. Richard Ironcloud? Yes. David Puyer? Yeah. Sonia Lohawk Weston? Ha. Uh. Jackie Sears. Jackie Sears. Michael Carlos Sr. Yes. Bernardo Rodriguez Jr. Yes. Craig Dillon. Yes. Excuse me. This is Jackie. I lost connection and my vote was yes. Thank you, Jackie. We got your vote. Uh, Council that passes 17 yes, three not voting. Um, also, Council, I saw, thank you, Land, um, Chairman. I saw that Medicine Root District was on the agenda. Did we address the Medicine Root District? Yes, Councilwoman. I'm not Medicine Root District, but uh, we do have a district resolution that we were waiting for to get done, and we still have that that uh, we need to read through Wakpami District. Yep, I did receive that. Um, but I just wanna make sure we got Medicine Root District out of the way. Did we do that one already? That was Ryan, right? Yeah, Councilman Knoyer. Yeah, so coming out of Medicine Root District, it was just to certify that our board is seated. Um, we have not received that resolution yet. So we'll come back to it later. We're asking for it. Okay, thank you. And Councilwoman, we will get to that before. Do we want to do that one now? Is that okay, everybody? Okay, yes. Councilwoman, do you want to present that? Thank you, Madam Vice Chair. I guess through Wakbamni District, we do have a resolution that we'll go ahead and read here. It's a resolution of the Oglala Sioux Tribal Council of the Oglala Sioux Tribe, an unincorporated tribe. Resolution of the Oglala Sioux Tribal Council of the Oglala Sioux Tribe honor honoring Bernadine Bluebird a respected elder from the Wakbamni district for her years of service to the Oglala Sioux tribe as she makes her journey to the spirit world. Whereas the Oglala Sioux tribe adopted its constitution and bylaws by referendum vote on December 14th, 1935, in accordance with section 16 of the Indian Reorganization Act of 1934. And whereas under article three, section one of the tribal constitution, the tribal council is the governing body of the Oglala Sioux tribe. And whereas Bernadine Bluebird, a respected elder from the Wakbamni district, served the Oglala Sioux tribe for 29 years, including serving as the Oglala Sioux tribe secretary from 1975 through 1982. The Oglala Sioux tribe census from 1999 through 2003, and the Oglala Sioux tribes enrollment office from 2004 to present. 
And whereas the Tribal Council desires to honor Bernadine Bluebird at its regular Tribal Council session on April 27, 2021, now therefore be it resolved that the Oglala Sioux Tribal Council hereby honors Bernadine Bluebird, a respected elder from the Wakpani district for her years of service to the Oglala Sioux tribe as she makes her journey to the spirit world. Be it finally resolved that the tribal president or in his absence, the tribal vice president may take any and all such action in furtherance of this resolution. With that, I certify, motion to certify. We have a motion by Councilwoman. Second. Little Hawk Weston, second by Councilman Carlo and Councilwoman Sears. Seeing or hearing no questions, Madam Secretary, can you run the vote, please? Wesley Hawkins, Sr. Yes. Blaine Little Thunder. Oh. Cora Whitehorse. Yes. Ryan Jumping Eagle, Sr. Gerald Conario, Jr. Austin Mockin Sr. Oh. Tyler Yellowboy. Yes. Wendell Youngman Jr. Yes. Ron Debray. Oh. James Cross. Yes. Ella John Carlo. Yes. George Dreamer Jr. Yes. Julianne Spotted Bear. Yes. Richard Ironcloud. Yes. David Puyer. Yes. Yeah. Sonia Lohog Weston. Ha. Huh. Jackie Sears. Oh, uh huh. Michael Carlos Sr. Yes. Bernardo Rodriguez Jr. Craig Dillon. Yes. <clears throat> Council that passes 18 yes to not voting. Our condolences to the family and thanks to Ms. Bluebird for her service to our tribe. Thank you, Consul. Thank you for that. Finance, two thirds, Chairwoman. It, it looks like Wak Bomney District has another um, resolution. You what? Yeah. Okay. All righty then. Put my apple down. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah resolution of the oglala sioux tribal council of the oglala sioux tribe authorizing its tribal president to apply for and accept apply for accept and execute a usda rural development loan not to ex exceed 3.2 million dollars to complete the architectural and construction work on the Pine Ridge Firehouse and dedicating up to $10,000 per month from the cigarette and tobacco tax revenue in the general fund budget to service that loan beginning January 1, 2022. Whereas the Oglala Sioux Tribe adopted its constitution and bylaws by referendum vote on December 14, 1935, in accordance with section 16 of the Indian Reorganization Act of 1934 and under article three of the constitution, the Oglala Sioux Tribal Council is the governing body of the Oglala Sioux Tribe. And whereas pursuant to the constitution and bylaws of the Oglala Sioux Tribe, the Oglala Sioux Tribal Council exercises legislative powers to enact and promulgate resolutions and ordinances. And whereas article four, section one W of the constitution empowers the tribal council to adopt laws protecting and promoting the health and general welfare of the Oglala Sioux tribe and its membership. And whereas the Oglala Sioux tribe is committed to constructing an initial tribal fire station building in Pine Ridge, but requires completed architectural plans and financing to accomplish that goal. And whereas the tribal council has already approved the initial $50,000 to pay Banner and Associates to continue the architectural work on that building. And whereas this initial 50,000 commitment is insufficient to complete the project. And whereas the USDA Rural Development Program has available loans and grants which can provide the tribe with approximately $3 million necessary to complete the design and construction of the fire station. And whereas the tribe has already discussed this project with representatives of the USDA and those federal agency representatives have indicated a willingness to give positive consideration 
to a tribal application for this Pine Ridge Firehouse financing. <clears throat> now, therefore, be it resolved that the Oglala Sioux Tribal Council hereby authorizes its tribal president to work with the tribal fire department and tribal staff to prepare and submit an application to the USDA Rural Development for a loan to exceed $3.2 million to pay for the completion of the design and construction of the Pine Ridge Fire Station building. And therefore be it further resolved that the Oglala Tribal Council furthers per month from the cigarette and tobacco tax revenue in the general fund budget to service the loan beginning January 1, 2022. And therefore be it further resolved that the Oglala Sioux Tribal Council hereby authorizes its tribal president to execute any and all documents and agreements necessary to apply for and accept such a USDA loan and directs its tribal treasurer to begin set setting aside 20% of the tribe's future tobacco tax revenue to service that loan. Motion to approve. We have a motion by Chairwoman Whitehorse, a second by Councilman DeBray. Any questions or comments or concerns, Council? Hearing or seeing none, Madam Secretary, can you run the vote, please? Wesley Hawkins, Sr. Good. Blaine Little Thunder? Oh. Cora Whitehorse? Yes. Ryan Jumping Eagle, Sr. Gerald Canario Jr. Yes. Austin Watkins Sr. Oh. Tyler Yellowboy. Yes. Wendell Youngman Jr. Yes. Ron DeBray. Oh. James Cross. <coughs> Ella John Carl. Yes. George Dreamer Jr. Yes. Julianne Spotted Bear. Yes. Richard Ironcloud. Yes. David Puyer. Tony Aloha Weston. Jackie Sears. Uh -huh. Michael Carlos Sr. Yes. Bernardo Rodriguez Jr. Craig Dillon. Yes. Council that passes 17 yes, three not voting. Thank you. And I just wanted to let everyone know every time you buy a pack of cigs, you're contributing to the fire department. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I mean, for reals, but just kidding. <laughs> Next time buy two. <laughs> I, would, I, have, I have five years of not smoking cigarettes, but now I'm gonna go buy two cartons. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Resolution of the Oglala Sioux Tribal Council of the Oglala Sioux Tribe declaring the month of May 2021 to be Reservation Wide Cleanup Month and calling upon all tribal programs, tribally chartered entities, and district service centers to assist in the cleanup to the extent they are able to do so. Whereas the Oglala Sioux Tribe adopted its constitution and bylaws by referendum vote on December 14th, 1935, in accordance with section 16 of the Indian Reorganization Act of 1934. And under article three of the constitution, the Oglala Sioux Tribal Council is the governing body of the Oglala Sioux Tribe. And whereas pursuant to the constitution and bylaws of the Oglala Sioux Tribe, the Oglala Sioux Tribal Council exercises legislative powers to enact and promulgate resolutions and ordinances. And whereas Article 4, Section 1W of the Constitution empowers the Tribal Council to adopt laws protecting and promoting the health and general welfare of the Oglala Sioux Tribe and its membership. And whereas the Tribal Council enacts this resolution to declare the month of May 2021 to be a reservation-wide cleanup month on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation and to call upon all tribal programs, tribally chartered entities and district service centers to assist in the cleanup to the extent they are able to do so. <clears throat> now, therefore be it resolved that the Oglala Tribal Council, I think that's supposed to say Oglala Sioux Tribal Council, hereby declares the month of May 2021 20, to be a reservation wide cleanup month on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation and calls for the removal of trash, junk, abandoned and dilapid dilapidated cars 
and other debris throughout the reservation. And be it further resolved that the Tribal Council calls upon a tri all tribal programs, tribally chartered entities, and district service centers to assist in the cleanup to the extent they are able to do so, including but not limited to the Oglala Sioux Tribe Land Office, Oglala Sioux Tribe Department of Corrections, and the Oglala Lakota Housing Authority. Motion to approve. The motion by Councilwoman Whitehorse, the second by Councilman Yellowboy and Councilman Knoyer. Yes, Councilwoman Carlo. Thank you. Um, if maybe the secretary could get this resolution um, sent out to all the cap offices and you know all these all the businesses, so everybody's aware of this as well. Thank you. Thank you, Councilwoman. Any other questions or comments? Yes. Councilman Carlo brought up a, a, a thing about adding other programs to it, but. Um, those were just examples listed and, and we did request that all tribal programs and all tribally chartered entities take part and help as much as possible. So that does include the transportation department, solid waste, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Thank you for the clarification. Any other questions, comments, concerns? Hearing or seeing none, Madam Secretary, can you call the vote, please? Wesley Hopkins, Sr. Oh. Blaine Little Thunder. Oh. Cora Whitehorse. Yes. Ryan Jumping Eagle, Sr. Gerald Knoyer, Jr. Yes, with prejudice. Austin Watkins, Sr. Tyler Yellowboy. Yep. Wendell Youngman Jr. Yes. Ron DeBray. No. Oh. James Cross. Yes. Ella John Carlo. Yes. George Dreamer Jr. Yes. Julianne Spotted Bear. Yes. Richard Ironcloud. Yes. David Puyer. Yes. Sonia Lohawk Weston. Jackie Sears. Uh huh. Michael Carlo Sr. Yes. Bernardo Rodriguez Jr. Yes. Craig Dillon. Yes. Council that passes 19 yes, one not voting. Yes, Councilwoman. Thank you. Um, I'd like to make a motion that we have our fifth member kind of head up this cleanup across the reservation. So we have a motion to have the fifth member head up the clean cleanup by Councilman Carlo and a second by, was that Councilman Dillon? Any questions, comments, or concerns? <laughs> Hearing or seeing none, Madam Secretary, can you run the vote, please? Wesley Hawkins, Sr. Oh. Blaine Little Thunder. Oh. Cora Whitehorse. Yes, with prejudice. <laughs> Ryan Jumping Eagle, Sr. Gerald Canario, Jr. Yes, with a caveat of yes, with prejudice. Austin Watkins, Sr. Tyler Yellowboy. Oh, yeah. Wendell Youngman, Jr. Yes. Ron DeBray. Oh. Uh, James Cross. Yes. Ella John Carlo. You betcha. George Dreamer, Jr. Yep. Julianne Spotted Bear. Yes. Richard Ironcloud. Yes. David Puyer. Yeah. Sonia Lohawk Weston. Jackie Sears. Michael Carlos Sr. No, please oh. not to vote yes. No. Okay. Bernardo Rodriguez Jr. Yes. Craig Dillon. You betcha. 
Jackie? Jackie Sears? Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, huh. Nineteen yes. Nineteen yes. One not voting. Council that passes. That's an honorable duty, <laughs> member. I'm excited to see see what you do. <laughs> Chairwoman, is that all of your two thirds? Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Thank yep. Thank you. Moving on to uh, law and order. Two thirds. Councilman Watkins, did you? Thank you, Chairwoman. Um, could you get the secretary to read it, please? <laughs> Resolution at La Sioux Tribal Council of the La Sioux Tribe appointing Sage Blacksmith as a temporary tribal prosecutor until such time as the position can be advertised by the tribal secretary and filled by the tribal council. Whereas the La Sioux Tribal the Oglala Sioux Tribe has adopted its constitution and bylaws by referendum vote on December 14, 1935, in accordance with Section 16 of the Indian Reorganization Act of 1934. Codified as amended constitution, the Oglala Sioux Tribal Council is the governing body of the Oglala Sioux Tribe. And whereas the Oglala Sioux Tribe <clears throat> Tribal Council has exercised its authority under Article 4, Subsection 1K of the Oglala Article 5, sorry, subsection 1K of the Oglala Sioux Tribe Constitution to establish a reservation court with courthouse, courthouses in Pine Ridge and Kyle. And whereas the Oglala Sioux Tribal Council has a, established four tribal prosecutor positions to prosecute criminal offense in the Pine Ridge, uh, Pine Ridge and Kyle courthouses. And whereas there is a vacancy in one of the four tribal prosecutor positions. And whereas on April 21st, 2021, the Law and Order Committee approved a motion to appoint Sage Blacksmith to serve as a temporary tribal prosecutor until such time as the vacant position can be advertised by the tribal secretary and filled by the tribal council. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Oglala Sioux Tribal Council hereby appoint Sage Blacksmith to serve as a temporary prosecutor for the Oglala Sioux Tribe, subject to successful completion by Ms. Blacksmith of the, back, of the background check and drug testing requirements that are applicable to all ap <clears throat> political appointees under Chapter 11, 11A, and 12, and Section 34-3B of the Oglala Sioux Tribe personnel policies and procedures manual as amended by ordinance number 21-06 January 26, 2021 and be it further resolved that the that the temporary appointment of Miss Blacksmith shall only be for so long as it is necessary for the position to be advertised by the tribal secretary and filled by the tribal council and the said temporary appointment shall terminate immediate term immediately when the tribal council appoints an individual to fill the vacant position and be it further resolved that the tribal council hereby authorizes and directs the tribal secretary to advertise the vac vacant tribal prosecutive position for a period of two weeks <clears throat> with the minimum job qualifications to be as listed in OST law and order code chapter 1 section 9 as amended by ordinance number 17-14 and the Tribal Council further directs the Tribal Secretary to present all applications to the Tribal Council so it can appoint an individual to fill the position certification. Got a motion by Chairman Watkins and a second by Councilman DeVray. Any questions, comments, or concerns, Council? Yes, Councilwoman. I think I addressed earlier about uh, the previous uh, ordinance. I think we approved through Law and Order Committee. Uh, there's a list of employees in the back of the ordinance. I think um, I just want to uh, make sure that because we already approved that prior to this. And so now she's considered a part of that employee, uh, employee listing that got approved that 
they're hired by under the corrections department. So I think I just wanted clarification that, um, you know, if we approve this today, then, um, you know, technically she gets hired under two different positions. So I want to make sure, and I did bring it up, and I think Cora mentioned that uh, she took this job. So we just need to make sure that um, Ms. Warbenhorst G knows that. That way, you know, they can process the proper paperwork to process her out of there. And she'll be here. I just wanted to clarify that for council. Thank you. Well, she would have to resign from the other job. Yeah. Any other questions, comments, or clarifications? Thank you for that. Hearing or seeing none, Madam Secretary, can you run the vote, please? Wesley Hawkins, Sr. Yeah. Blaine Little Thunder. Oh. Cora Whitehorse. Yes. Ryan Jumpy Sr. Gerald Conario, Jr. Yes. Austin Watkins, Sr. Oh. Tyler Yellowboy. Not voting. Wendell Youngman, Jr. Yes. Ron Debray. Oh. James Cross. Yes. Ella John Carlo. Yes. George Dreamer, Jr. Julianne Spotted Bear. Yes. Richard Ironcloud. Yes. David Puyer. Yes. Sonia Aloha Weston. Ha. Huh. Jackie Sears. Oh, huh. Michael Carlos Sr. Yes. Bernardo Rodriguez Jr. Yes. Craig Dillon. Yes. Council that passes 17 yes, three not voting. Chairman Watkins, you had one more item, two thirds item. Trying to have the secretary go ahead and read it. Resolution appointing Robert Lafferty as the committee <clears throat> program monitor for the law and order committee of the Ogallala Sioux Tribal Council. Whereas the Ogallala Sioux Tribal Council adopted its constitution and bylaws by referendum vote on December 14, 1935, in accordance with Section 16 of the Re Reorganization Act of 1935-34-25 USC, subsection 5123, and under Article 3 of the Constitution of the Ogallala Sioux Tribal Council is the governing body of the Ogallala Sioux Tribe, and whereas Article 4, subsection or sub section 1F, 1K, 1M, and 1W empower the Tribal Council to manage the economic affairs of the of the tribe protect and preserve the property of the tribe adopt laws governing the and governing the conduct of persons on the pine ridge indian reservation and adopt laws protecting and promoting the health and general welfare of the tribe and its members and whereas in an exercise in the exercise of these powers the tribal council enacted the Oglala Sioux tribe personnel policies and procedures manual by ordinance number 18-22 and on August 16, 2018. And since that time, the Tribal Council has enacted ordinances amending the manual. And whereas the Tribal Council enacted ordinance number 21-13 to amend the personnel manual to replace the administrative officers in the office of the Chief of Staff with, the com with committee program monitors, understanding committees of the Tribal Council and to establish procedures for the selection, removal, responsibilities, and reporting of the committee program monitors. And whereas Ordinance Number 21 13 added Section 14 16 to the Personnel Manual, and that section provides in relevant part that there shall be six committee program monitors with committee program monitor assigned to each of the six standing committees of the Oglala Sioux Tribal Council, of the Oglala, wait, sorry, standing committees of the Tribal Council. The committee program monitors shall be political appointees of the tribe who shall serve at will 
Each committee program monitor shall be recommended by the standing committee to which the committee program monitor is assigned and appointed by majority vote of the tribal council. And the term of office of each committee program monitor shall be for the term of office of the appointing tribal council. And whereas on April 21st, 2021, the monitor, the motion and vote, the law and order committee of the tribal council recommended that Robert Lafferty be appointed to serve as the committee program monitor for the law and order committee. And whereas the tribal council agrees with the recommendation of the law and order committee. Now be it further resolved that the Oglala Sioux Tribal Council hereby appoints Robert Lafferty to serve as the committee program monitor for the law and order committee of the tribal council, subject to successful completion of the background and drug testing requirements that are applicable to the all political appointees under chapter 11, 11A and 12 and section 34-3B of the personnel policy, personnel manual as amended by ordinance number 21-6. And be it further resolved that Mr. Lafferty shall be a political appointee of the, the tribe who shall serve at will and whose term of office shall be for the term of office of the appointing tribal council, namely the term of office of the 2020-2022 killer Musu administration. And be it further resolved that Mr. Lafferty shall be subject to day-to-day -to -day oversight of the tribal comptroller, the supervision and oversight of law and order committee of the law of the tribal council and the ultimate disciplinary authority of the tribal council pursuant to sec section 14-16 of the personnel manual as amended by ordinance number 21-13 certification. Motion by Chairman Watkins, second by Councilman Dubray. Any questions, comments, or concerns, or clarifications? I just had one question or clarification, Council. We added another committee, which is the Youth Advisory Committee. So would they also, that doesn't necessarily pertain to this, but it is in the, uh, I believe it's the one, two, three, four, fifth, whereas, would that committee also have a program monitor? <laughs> yeah, Council. I, I think the youth committee was um, supposed to um, come together and bring back, bring it to finance and then come to council. Okay, I just wanna make sure because it says six standing committees and now there's seven, so, okay. All right, any other comments or clarifications or questions? Thank you for that, sorry. Yeah. Did I miss a portion that says he would um, have to pass the background check? Okay, all right, thank you. Any other questions or comments? Seeing none, Madam Secretary, can you call the vote, please? Wesley Hawkins, Sr. Good. Blaine Little Thunder? Oh. Cora Whitehorse? No. Ryan Jumping Eagle, Sr. Gerald Canaria, Jr. Good. Austin Watkins, Sr. No. Taylor Yellow, Yellow Boy? No. Wendell Youngman, Jr.? Yes. Ron Debray? No. Oh. James Cross? No. Ella John Carlo? No. George Dreamer, Jr.? No. Julianne Spotted Bear? No. Richard Ironcloud? Yes. David Puyer? No. Sonny Aloha Weston? Jackie Sears? Oh, huh. Michael Carlos Sr.? No. Bernardo Rodriguez Jr.? No. Craig Dillon? No.
Council, that fails nine yes, 10 no, one not voting. Back to the drawing board, I guess. We'll probably have to uh, make a motion to re-advertise the, the coordinator. So that'll be my motion. Second. So we got a motion to re-advertise that position by the chairman and a second by the vice chair. Any questions, comments? Madam Secretary, can you call the vote, please? No, I'm looking for leave. It's not in here. Wesley Hawkins, Sr. No. Cora Whitehorse. Yes. Oh, sorry. Blaine, Th Little Thunder. Oh. Cora Whitehorse. Yes. Ryan Jumpy Eagle, Sr. Ryan. Gerald Conario Jr. Austin Watkins Sr. Oh. Tyler Yellowboy. Yes. Wendell Youngman Jr. Yes. Ron Debray. I guess. James Cross. Yes. Ella John Carlo. Yes. George Dreamer Jr. Yes. Julianne Spotted Bear. Yes. Richard Ironcloud. Yes. David Puyer. Yes. Sonia Wilhock Weston. Ha. Huh. Jackie Sears. Uh huh. Michael Carlos Sr. Yes. Bernardo Rodriguez Jr. Yes. Craig Dillon. Yes. Council that passes 19 yes, one not voting. Oh, one second. Correction, uh, that passes still 18 yes, uh, one not voting. Two not voting, pardon me. Um, Councilman Debray, <laughs> did, did we have the elder <laughs> resolution yet or are we gonna wait on that? I'm gonna wait on that, okay. Did, yes, Councilwoman. Chair, make motions to recess till tomorrow. We got a motion to recess tomorrow. Is that a second, Councilman Walker? That's my second. Okay. <laughs> Hi, <Eric>. I'm going. <laughs> Councilman Watkins, you're in rare form today. I like it. <laughs> all right, so we will go into recess at 442, and we will see you all tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Uh, real quick, Council. Yeah. So um, tomorrow, I, I know that we only have a few items. We'll have Kyle tomorrow. And then uh, the only thing we, on the President's report is a few items that need to go into executive. So and that Steve Gunn asked for that. So that so we'll, and I'll try to put that at the end. So not to make it too long, but hopefully I think we'll have lunch and then there's going to be food here at five. Um, so just uh, FYI, but hang uh, around and eat. Um, so supper will be bring, here at five. Sorry. Are we going to bring them superintendent uh, people up at that time during year under you? Okay. Yeah, we'll bring that. And then I think there's a Bennett County issue too that's coming up. And then uh, there's one other thing, but yeah, we'll, we'll deal with that tomorrow, but we could, okay, thank you. <laughs>